Okay, today we'd like to talk about the relentless ambushers of the highway out there. By that, I mean these guys. Yeah, that's right, these uh, rubber barrels you see every place. Now, they're all over the place where I'm at here, and a lot of places like, oh, I don't know, every place they're doing highway construction, you're going to see them. Uh, they're all over the place, and, uh, geez, I mean, there's more of them out there than lawyer billboards, and that's a lot. Uh, this time of year, people are doing a lot of construction in various towns and cities and so forth. And where I'm at, they're pretty much every place around my office. Uh, the thing is that they can be dangerous. The fact that they're supposed to prevent you from getting injured or show dangerous areas uh, aside, that uh, they themselves, when they get in the way, can not be any fun to run into. Uh, they're weighted at the bottom. If you look at the bottom of these things, uh, there's what looks like part of a tire around them, and that's usually what that is. It's the sidewall out of an old tire cutout that has a steel belted in it or a Kevlar, and it's heavy and it's supposed to hold the bottom of these things down, and usually it does. Uh, now you can add two or three of these weights, these uh, tire sidewalls, to these to make sure they don't float around, and when places where it's windy, they should. Because what happens is, as people drive by them, particularly if there's trucks in the area, the, the wind that they create as they go by, the uh, width of a vehicle might catch one of them and move them and might move them in the way, catch your car or something. What often happens is, uh, when you have really windy weather, they're not properly weighted at the bottom, and as you drive along through a construction zone, a big gust of wind will come up and blow one of these in your way. Lots of times, they'll get knocked over at some point, and someone will get out and set the thing back up. It won't set it in the right position, or they'll set it up without the weight at the bottom. And before you know it, when you drive through an area, one of these things can blow in front of you or roll in front of you. It's bad enough in a car. It can cause you to run off the road or hit it and then uh, skid sideways, all sorts of stuff. But their true enemy out there is, of course, motorcycles, because if a motorcycle hits one of these things, uh, it's really going to cause a problem for the rider. So what do you do? I mean. Well, if you get injured by one of these things, then you probably should talk to us uh, because there are some rules out there that are supposed to be followed about how often you check these things. It's especially important if you're on a motorcycle or a car on like a long weekend or a holiday or something where these barrels have been sitting for a long time and the weather's been bad because they'll get moved around, they'll lose their, the base weight, or maybe the base weight they put on them isn't enough for the wind that's been blowing. There are some rules out there that are generated about how often these things are supposed to be checked on, how often people are supposed to go by and make sure they're in the right position. That doesn't always happen, and it can be real dangerous to someone when they get hurt. So in one of these uh, ambushers, uh, these uh, plastic highwaymen out there cause a problem, let us know. Maybe we can help you out. Thanks a lot, and be careful out there.